Thanks for seeing us out. I never would have guessed you were friends with Princess Alfin, of all people. I wish I knew how much of what she said was genuine. Elise? Thank you for taking the time to come here today. Take care on, the, on your way back to your lodgings. We will, thank you. Thanks for showing us around. Good night. Good night, everyone. Wait! Don't worry. <laughs> I can understand where she's coming from. I doubt anyone would have guessed that her highness would extend such a bold invitation to you. I'm not sure how that's my fault. It's really not. But Elise doesn't want to share her brother. Welcome back one and all to Trials of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. I almost forgot. Reen, I have a small favor I'd like to ask you. Your Highness? Oh, you're going to ask him? But of course. You see, tomorrow I'll be attending a garden party sponsored by the local government for the start of the festival. Or rather, Machias' father invited me to attend. Yes, I seem to recall hearing that myself. That's the one at the Crystal Garden in Master Park, right? Indeed. Anyway, let's not waltz around the matter. I was rather hoping that you would join me as my dance partner, Reen. I called it! I figured that would happen. She has a crush on Reen. That's adorable. <laughs> Does that mean... <laughs> whoa, 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 hold on a minute. I don't think I can, I mean, it would be an honor, but it's like too great of an honor for someone like me. Oh, not at all. Your father was a, maybe a baron, but the Schwarzers have a long, had a long deep ties with the Imperial family. Interesting. I apologize that this comes across as rude, but inviting you would likely create less opposition than if I were to invite Eusis. Well, I can't deny that. You needn't apologize. I find your choice rather fascinating, actually. You're enjoying this. You are enjoying this, you little prick. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> You're not helping. Anyway, I really don't think I'm the man you want. Sometimes I can barely keep from tripping my own over my own feet. Is that so? Lise once told me that she asked you to help her practice the finer points of ballroom dancing. In fact, she says you're an excellent dancer, that you step lightly and gracefully. Is that not true, Reen? <laughs> well... <laughs> well, she is not letting up. It's not what I mean! That's my sister, alright. She really knows how to twist the knife. <laughs> Your Highness, please. You too, Oliver. Is it Oliver or Oliver? This game tends to use a lot of German pronunciations and German sounding names. So I don't think they would use a French name. They might. Ah, I see now. Could it not have chained crossed your mind? Perhaps the truth is that you already have your heart set on someone else. Or is someone already courting you? Well, 
Alyssa, I get the feeling, likes Reen, and there is a chemistry between them. I'm positively dying to know which maiden has conquered the battlefield of your heart. <laughs> I like these people. Wait, I don't... I mean... How oh, am I getting, going to get out of this one? I'm not sure how to turn her down gently. Next year, I'll be 16, just like your sister. That's when I'm making my debut, debut into high society. So I'd very, I'd be very happy if you'd give my invitation some thought. Well, aren't you the lucky one? I don't, I can't tell if you're being jealous, if you're jealous, or if you're just enjoying the awkward predicament Reen is in. Her Highness really seems to have taken a shine to you. Oh, she's enjoying this. Just look at her face. You really ought to have accepted her invitation. It might have led somewhere truly unexpected in the future. I doubt it. It seemed like she just took an interest in me because I'm her friend's brother. She didn't seem all that serious about it, so I figured she was just trying to tease the two of us. Can't deny it seemed that way. But I got the impression that I wasn't... I, 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 blah, 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 blah. But I got the impression that wasn't all that was going on there. You weren't the only one feeling nervous the whole time. Prince Olivert was ha, was an even more unusual person than I've heard. No doubt about that. He seemed entertaining to be around. He seemed entertaining to be around. To think that he's the one who made Class 7 possible. He seemed easygoing, but hearing him talk about our class made what we're doing feel important. And besides, he has given us plenty of other useful information. Yeah, including the fact that the board of directors seems to have their own agenda. I have no idea what they're planning, but their motives have incredi seem incredibly suspicious. I can read people. I'm in a cotton mouth right now. I probably ought to, I need I need a drink. I need to go get a drink. But I'll I'll, I'll, be, I'll suffer through it. I'll get a bottle of water or Gatorade after this recording. Yeah, I, I kind of got the idea that she was a bracer. A rank is more or less the highest you can be. I assume you already knew about her history, B. Yep. The guild is every Jaeger Corps' main competition, after all. Yeah, bracers are another mercenary group. Probably even ran into her a few times during operations. Really? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about those good old days. Hello, Sarah. How long have you been there? So it looks like you finally found out about my work history, huh? I was kind of putting two and two together. I guess that kind of tarnishes my ravishing adult charm a bit, then. There's a charm to you, but I wouldn't call it ravishing. I hate to break it to you, but you didn't have any to begin with. Thank you, Machias. Did you hear an old maid singing? What was that? Hey, Claire. Good morning. Good evening, everyone. Good morning. Yes, it is clearly morning by the fact there's no sun in the fucking sky. And I've spent my day doing busy work for the, for the local government. I sure are intelligent. This is quite an unusual combination. The frozen lady and the purple lightning. No, the icy maiden. Excuse me. Tomorrow's field study is being put on hold. Instead, 
you get the exciting opportunity to help this lady and her goons with their evil schemes. Hey, that sounds fun. What evil schemes? Sarah, could you maybe not try to put them entirely... Put them off entirely before I've had a chance to explain? Actually, there's a matter I'd like all of you to help us with. I've discussed this with the governor, and he decided that this would be the best way to handle the issue. Come these. Get on board. On the way to the command center at the Grand Central Station. The logo on the side of those Humvees actually looks a lot like the Armed Forces logo for the United States. That's the, of course, then again, I can't really get a good look at it from this distance. If they were to zoom up on it, it'd be a little easier. If I zoom up on it, you're just going to see a pixelated mess. Same day, 2130, uh, 9 o'clock, 930. Terrorists. Indeed. I'm afraid we have no choice but to define them as such. Gideon's one we've encountered. We still have that C and the woman with the eye patch. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Seems like it. Gideon. If you name your kid Gideon, you're asking him to be a villain. And you think he and his group are trying something tomorrow on the first day of the festival? Yes. Summer festival lasts three days, but unlike festivals in other provinces, only the first day garners much attention. It's been a month since the incident in Nord, and if they intend to make their next move soon, tomorrow is a likely time. I have to agree. Terrorists do love the their time in the spotlight, after all. Boy, ain't that the truth. And considering how easily Gideon gave you the, his name, I'm betting we'll start to see them acting more openly soon. I seriously need a drink. I'm getting dry mouth. I need a drink. So... About a Mountain Dew, sure. No sponsor or anything. I don't. I don't do. I don't get sponsors. I, as I check, 49 subscribers, 50 subscribers. I don't feel like looking at that right now while I'm recording. But I'll grab a cold drink. Don't, don't fall. I don't really care about the number. I just, I, I like doing this. First, you gather arms and. Oh, sorry. First, you gather arms and other like-minded allies in secret. Then you reveal yourself with a bang. And keep going in quick succession. That's a typical mo terrorist motivation. Right. The railway military police will be joining forces with the Heimdall military police to bolster the capital security. Bah, it sure be nice if the guild was still active here. They would have come in mighty handy right about now. I don't disagree. Um, Sarah, do you know that the RMP had no involvement to the guild's withdrawal from the capital, right? Really? I mean, your boss and that brother of yours could hardly make their opposition to the guild more obvious if they tried. Wow, these two really seem to have a messy history. 
looks that way. Especially where the guild is concerned. That sounds like your brother has recently been in Cross Bell. So what's it gonna be? Whether you choose this as your field study task for tomorrow is totally up to you. If you decline, there are plenty of tasks the governor needs taken care of, like you've been doing the last two days. The summer festival is a busy time after all. Lots of little details that need to be squared away. Let's do it! I think I speak for Group A when I say we'd be happy to join the anti-terrorist countermeasures. Group B feels the same. Alright then. Thank you for your assistance, everyone. Now let's move right along to confirming the patrol routes you'll be following. Twenty eleven o'clock, Jesus. This place brings back memories. Up until a year and a half ago, I'd swing by here at least once a week. Really. I wouldn't be surprised if I'd seen you around then. Well, I did end up getting to know your sister. Fiona, right? Works as a piano teacher. Phone just dinged. Seriously? Wait, she did say she knew someone who worked at the guild. I guess she was talking about the instructor. Still, what is it that caused the guild to withdraw from the capital? I've been wondering that myself. The guild used to be pretty active in Erebonia, right? Well, yeah. There's another Tales of Legend of Heroes series called The Tales of the Sky. I don't know if there's any others than that. Well, that's what's on Steam. It's Tales of the Sky and Tail Trails of Trails of the Sky and Trails of Cold Steel is on Steam. Where Jaeger Corps hired by a nasty bunch that the guild was at odds with. Anyway at the time, well, still is anyway. Thanks to a dependable ally, we were able to defeat the Jaegers. But by then, the Imperial government had its eye on us. They started making life difficult for us, took away most of the guild's authority in the country, leaving our hands tied. Eventually, the bracers had started closing, one by one, with no real prospect of ever reopening. So that's how it was. Instructor. Don't worry. Your dad might be a big, be the city's governor, but he wasn't the one that was really involved. A certain friend of his, however, was very involved. You're talking about Chancellor Goliath Osborne, representative of the Imperial government, I assume. Yep, him and his cronies in the Imperial Intelligence Division That's kind of like my sister's organization. That's kind of like a sister organization to the Railway Military Police. Anyway, after that, I was out of a job. That's when Principal Van Dyke came and offered me a position at the academy. I started as a combat instructor last spring, and after that, I wound up being chosen as your class homeroom teacher. I still help out guild from time to time though and that's how I ended up bringing in our Jaeger princess here clipping knock it off so what happened you mentioned that Jaeger Corps the Jaeger Corps was responsible for the attacks what was its name 
It wasn't the same group he ran with. They were called they were called Jester, not a particularly high-ranking outfit. I see. Worried me. Worried about me. Well, I did suspect that it was likely a different core. Huh. From the sound of it, the Jaeger Corps B belonged to was a pretty large one, though. Oh, definitely. She was with Zephyr. The leader was an insidious guy known as the Jaeger King. You name a combat specialty, Zephyr covered it. They were the only core on par with the Red Constellation, which has its roots in the Berserkers of the Middle Ages. Damn! They caused me plenty of trouble back when I was still a full-time bracer. And a berserker, they were a... Basically, they were a warrior that went into the middle of things and fucked everything up. They didn't typically wear armor because it would be restrictive to their movement. Look who's talking. You've caused us plenty of trouble yourself. Yeah, good point. It's hard to believe all this happened to people we actually know. Yeah. This ended more like a story out of a, some novel. You know, the terrorists you've been hearing about lately aren't part of any Jaeger Corps. I figured that was the case. Yeah, especially since they hired a group of Jaegers. Well, Jaeger dropouts. Generally, Jaegers are interested in two things, money and fighting. Well, they're mercenaries, so yeah, that's kind of their thing. The Gideon guy you encountered in the Hanor Highlands doesn't seem to fit that description. If I had to guess, I'd say he's acting on some kind of deep-seated grudge. Well, it's hard to say anything for sure, I've never met him. From what I understand, he did seem pretty. T you seem pretty tenacious. He did. He did seem pretty tenacious. Oh my God! I can read people. He was definitely that. Which means we're going to have to step it up for our patrol tomorrow. Your involvement is precautionary step. It's a precautionary step, Jesus Christ. But if I were going to help. Give it your best, I can say. Seems like your teamwork is smoother than ever, too. For all, so all for the better. Anyway, it's late. So, get your report written and get some sleep. I'm gonna crash in one of the empty rooms. Go right ahead. Ah. Uh. She never changes, does she? Are you sure? She seemed more talkative than usual. Yeah, I noticed. My god, I'm reading this. Feels like she was pushing herself. Now that you mention it. She did seem far more forthcoming with her information than usual. Jesus Christ, it's a lot of talking for 25 minutes. Maybe she's feeling a bit weird being back in her old workplace. You may be right. Still, I guess we're not really in any position to be worrying about her. We'll just have to be on our. We'll just, uh, bah! We just have to be our best to, co to coordinate with Group B tomorrow to make sure everything runs smoothly. Agreed. Alright, the sooner we get that report written, the sooner we can get some sleep. Ooh, you're moving up in the world. Up to A7. <laughs> I've got a little reward here for you. Wind bell as a perk. I'll have to look at Drinks that. Drinks are on me someday. <laughs> the next day, one in the fucking morning.
well, who have we here? It doesn't look like Gideon, but then again, with the hood up, it's hard to tell. This one seems to be lacking in the chest department, so it must be Gideon. <laughs> the time is finally at hand. Yeah, that's Gideon. At last. The hammer of judgment shall rouse this indolent capital from its slumber. Yeah! He's stirring up the reformist faction. Comrade G, all of the necessary preparations are complete. Yep. Hi, Gideon. We should have shot you back in Nord. Seriously. Why didn't we fucking shoot him back in Nord? We had the guns to shoot him. We should have shot him. We had to, we, we could have taken him out right freaking then and there. Elisa had a bow to put an arrow in his forehead. Why did nobody react to shoot Gideon? I would have shot Gideon. I would have at least tried to shoot Gideon. It's like, oh, you're monologuing. Here's a good time to, pfft. seriously. But it feels like you have so few men accompanying you. I really want to know this. Can we get a game where you can just shoot the boss while he's monologuing? Go through a whole gauntlet of level of mooks that you can just shred and slash through with a sword. And when you get to the boss, just kill him while he's, while he's monologuing. I think that'd be freaking hilarious. Wouldn't it be wise to call in a few others for backup? Maybe. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. What's up, Specs? As long as I have this flute, not even the railway military police stand a chance of stopping us. Tomorrow, the people of this land will at last know our name. My dear comrades, I shall be counting on you all. Yeah! Terrorism! This is touching it is a pretty touchy subject, isn't it? Seriously! This game is not afraid to push the limits. I like that. But I've been gone for almost 30 minutes now, so I actually need to end the episode. I know this was mostly just story progress and nothing really happened, but I'll go a little longer. All right, I'm gonna go check on group B before heading over to the RMP command post. Just give me a call on your Arcus if you find anything during your patrols. Okay, will do. Leave it to us. Still, I was expecting Captain Claire to be on point of contact. Yeah, I wasn't expecting you to agree to the, cooperate with the RMP. I'm not exactly delighted about working with them, but things are looking pretty serious. I'm helping them this once, but acting as a point of contact. But I won't let them forget for a minute that they owe me. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Tell Fiona thanks for the breakfast. Sure thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like I said, I'll go a little longer just so we have something, so we do something. I want to go to the weapons store. See if I can get people better equipped with some armor. Everyone has the...
Oh, the only one. Oh, yeah, I already have everyone equipped. But while that adds defense, takes away strength, so I decided to leave it alone. Okay. I haven't recorded in a couple days. And frankly, I've got a lot of editing to do. Yeah, yeah. I thought I smelled something familiar. Patrick? What the hell are you doing here? But of course. I did receive a personal invitation to the garden party, after all. I see you're all tied up with your field studies, or whatever you call them, even on such a fine day. Actually, we're working in tow with the government to secure your poncy ass. He really does get under my skin. He gets under mine, too, Machias. I've gotten used to it already. Are you alone today? I was in the impression that your butler Celestine, Kelstein always attends you, but I don't see him today. It's true, he's often at my side, but I spend plenty of time on my own as well. Don't take me for one of those useless nobles who can hardly lace up his boot without a butler's help. I always got the impression his butler was going, was, ah! I, was, I always got the impression that his butler was there more to keep an eye on him. Did you say something? Yeah, he did, but you're a child, man. Yeah. I intend to introduce myself to Princess Alfin. Try not to get too jealous now. I already met her. I would have said something like that, like, actually, I already met her. Last night, had dinner with her. Bit flighty. <laughs> yeah, he's just not worth it. I just have to go around and talk to people. work in a warehouse. We had one guy just said, fuck it, and walked out the building. Didn't clock out, didn't tell anyone he was leaving, just fucking left. Nobody knew he was gone until that module fell behind. A module is where, is it basically a three-tier conveyor belt that runs freight to a shipping department. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. So is there anything to actually check on here on the Van Clair Street? Couple places. Plaza. The HMP are all over the place, yeah, I noticed. Wait. Crow? 
Woohoo! <laughs> I'm on a roll! What are you doing here? I can almost taste that grand prize. Crow? Ah, hey guys. How's that field study coming along? It's coming along. Oh, it's going fine. But why are you here? Oh, you don't know? Classes don't run back at the academy during the summer festival. So I came here to squeeze as much fun as possible out of this fortuitous bit of free time. Oh. So, while we're doing busy work, you get to enjoy yourself. Meaning? The summer races, of course. Wait, you came all the way here to bet money on horse racing? Apparently. We're minors. We're not allowed to place bets. <laughs> well... He looks to be about 18. <laughs> Do I look like a lawbreaker to you? There's a magazine that's running a prize contest for the summer races. You send in your predictions, and if you're spot on, you win a really fancy prize. Oh, so it's just an, it's another form of gambling. So you came all the way to the capital just to check on that? If only we all had such boundless energy. All right, time for some serious praying to the goddess. <laughs> I'll leave the money here, okay? Thank you very much. Come back anytime. Anyway, I'm heading over to the cathedral over in the Sonk district. Peace. Uh, thanks. Come on, goddess. Let me win that prize. He's here for more than just betting. That seems a rather pedestrian thing to pray for. So irresponsible. There's more. This is the guy that pulled out two freaking guns and helped me fight a giant suit of armor. There's more to him than meets the <laughs> eye. <laughs> That's crow for you. And not just because he's on the box art of the second game. I do have the second game. I'm gonna finish. After I finish this game, I'm gonna jump back into Devil May Cry 5. Looks like there's still places here we haven't explored. So, I hope that everyone's okay Let's with that. Let's go look somewhere else. Is there actually one in here to talk to in the main street? Yes. What's up, Squirt? What's wrong? Hmm. Is someone just vanishing? Speak up. Or we'll force it out of you. Thank you, Fee. Right. Okay, I'll get it. Dang, you two are scary. Honestly, I'm more scared of Fee than I am of Laura. And keep in mind, Laura carries around a freaking Claymore. So yeah, like I said, anyone, someone from one of the apartments around just vanished. Caretaker came to check up on them this morning, found the room empty, as if no one ever lived there. The only thing left was the key to the room. That's strange. Especially since they disappeared without telling anyone. Yeah. Maybe. Don't worry about it. Okay. I see you go around to each district. And talk to people. At the hotel. Well, for almost 40 minutes. Oh my, aren't you the military academy students from the other day? Oh, it's that opera singer. We meet again. Did you come all this way just to see me? B Miss... Clo I don't remember how to pronounce your name. Hello again. Actually, we're here a part of, as a part of our field study. We're doing a patrol over the city. Isn't that a shame? But I am glad to see you're all dwell and working hard. 
I see the two of you are able to make peace as well. I'm surprised. I guess you noticed a small change when we were only when you only met us two days ago. Was I right? There's more to her than meets the eye. Anyway, I just had a feeling that might be the case. Call it woman's intuition. There's more to you than meets the eye. There's more to you, and there's more to Crow. There's definitely more, there's actually, not just Crow, but Angelica, Toa, and George. There's more to those four that meets the eye. Anyway, have you noticed any significant changes since we last talked? Well, thanks to you, we were, thanks to you all taking care of that beast, I've been able to truly relax during my stay. I've slept wonderfully these past couple nights, but now that you mention it, I did notice a suspicious looking group of people near the hotel last night. You did? There were two of them talking in a back alley near here, hats pulled tightly over their heads. When they noticed me trying to sneak a peek, they panicked and vanished into the night. I did overhear them talking about a plan of some kind, though. Yeah. Okay. It's a pro for you. Okay. Now go check the other districts. The OST by the waterway. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess anyone who would actually want to go check out the underground would bring a weapon with them. something? Nothing. The chances are no one's in there right now. Good to know. Problem is, the footprints we left when we came out of there yesterday are gone. What does that mean? It means they just faded away? Be it rain, wind, anything could blow footprints away. Okay, somebody went in there. Now, Dracula's Plaza at the front gate of the palace. Sure are more people out than there were yesterday. They must have all come to see the Imperial Family's Parade. Oh my god, I'm gonna say this right now. There's nothing better than when going to a festival and getting a sausage on a stick. Wow! These cure a lot of HP. Ought to get some of those. Pretty nuts. They've even got special security arrangements for the event. Well, they would kind of need that for the royal family. Yes, I, I, w I would expect armored via a royal family to be in an armored vehicle.
Where am I going now? Oh, there's this. I forgot about this one down here. I thought I sensed that someone's suspicious. Yeah. Well, Sarah will probably be... No, she would... She said she was going to... The... RMP headquarters. Apparently, apparently I made the right choice. Sarah, give me an update. Understood. She sounds more suspicious than usual. Yeah. Heimdall Cathedral in the northwest. Alfin is, in, is heading to Master Park in the northeast. And Prince Oliver will be going to Heimdall Racetrack in the southwest. Prince Oliver got an extremely capable bodyguard with him, though, so I'm not as worried about him. Okay, I need to go to the park. I guarantee she'll be enjoying that. Okay, the story will advance. So, if there's anything I need to do for preparation before that, do it now. But, there's nothing I need to do. So, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Treasure Cold Steel as I go to that park and investigate the claims that need to be done there. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.